I know 12. I think we're supposed to solve the murder in 12. And just, I don't know, how, how does it affect everybody? Uh, well, Cheryl goes off the deep end when she finds out, and it's it's going to be crazy. Um, but it's going to, everyone's going to react differently to it. It's definitely unexpected, and it's going to turn the town upside down on its head. You've had some real deep moments for this character. I mean, I think back to the pep rally, the crying scene that Veronica helped her through. But when you say she goes off the deep end, is this like freaking out like we've never seen her sort of freak out before? This is an emotional freak out for Cheryl. I mean, she's cried and she's had tantrums, but this is like a real, a deep guttural reaction to what she she finds out and it's it's shocking to see how she reacts to it. Did you sort of turn to your castmates to support you through that scene? It sounds like a tough one. It was and we, they were all there which was really cool actually um, and it, it is hard to like dredge up those feelings and to go through those emotions and they were very supportive and there's a, I really want to talk about it but I can't in the finale where I'm going through something very difficult as a person and as Cheryl and the entire cast I've got a really cute photo I'll share after it's over is like they're supporting me it's really sweet. Who had the most elaborate theory about who killed Jason Blossom? Awesome before you guys all found out. Was there a real sleuth amongst the gang? There wasn't. I mean, we all wanted to know, but we also all didn't want to know. Like, we all were just excited to find out every episode. We were just like, one step closer to finding who killed Jason. So I don't think we ever really, like, had crazy theories. We were just, like, excited to find out who it really was.